The ASEAN region is home to a wealth of life. It is home to a variety of forests, mountains, grasslands, urban parks, rivers, streams, wetlands, mangroves, coral reefs, and vast ocean ecosystems. Within these ecosystems, millions of microorganisms, plants, animals, birds, and marine life thrive. And over 630 million people depend on ecosystem services for food, health, livelihood, all our basic needs to survive. However, the ASEAN region's biodiversity and ecosystems and associated services are under strong and increasing pressure caused by continuous population growth, wasteful consumption patterns, and destructive human activities. To conserve and protect ASEAN's biological diversity while improving the livelihood of the people of ASEAN, the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity, or ACB, and the GIZ joined hands in implementing the program Protection of Biological Diversity in the ASEAN Member States in cooperation with the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity, or CARE for BioDive. Under the program are three projects funded by the Federal Government of Germany. The Small Grants Program, or SGP. The biodiversity-based products as an economic source for the improvement of livelihoods and Biodiversity Protection Project, or BBP. And the institutional strengthening of the biodiversity sector in ASEAN, ISB. The ISB project is jointly implemented by ACB and GIZ with the objective of ACB to successfully fulfill its regional mandate for the implementation of the Convention on Biological Diversity, CBD. The ISB project focuses on a number of areas. The ISB supports the ACB's organizational development helping expand the center's network of partners and enhance the technical capacities of its officials and staff. The ACB corporate website was also enhanced as an information platform for biodiversity conservation in the ASEAN region. Since then, viewership increased by 57.41% and decreased bounce rate by 17%. The ISB project is also implementing the Second Ment program, wherein senior and junior officials from the Environment Ministries and Protected Areas of ASEAN work with ACB in the Philippines to learn means of achieving national biodiversity targets. At the same time, they also learn to actively practice transcending regional differences in cultures, languages, and policies across countries towards developing a regional mindset. What I learned from ACB during my jobs, I have applied that to conduct the activities and manage the data from the projects. For example, like uh, in my office, we are also doing some projects related to uh, biodiversity information. So we, I am responsible to encoding it into uh, Darwin Core and sharing to the national um, partners or the national uh, stakeholders. So I uh, learned a lot of uh, a lot of projects in ACB and uh, the detail and the structure of the ASEAN. Before I uh, joined the second main program, I don't know about the detail of the ASEAN in each pillar. But uh, for now, some project in ACB is a cross cutting issue for another pillar of ASEAN. So I know the structure of ASEAN, I know the detail of the uh, project and uh, structure of the ACB and how to work. The project also supports the coordination and strengthening of the ASEAN Heritage Parks program, wherein ACB is the Secretariat. ASEAN Heritage Parks, or AHPs, are the best of the best protected areas in the ASEAN region that represent its diverse biological resources and ecosystems. 
Singapore is very small. We are only about three, uh, 719 square kilometres. But we have committed ourselves to legally protect four nature reserves. And the four nature reserves are the Bukit Timah Nature Reserve, Central Catchment Reserve, uh, Sungai Buloh Wetland Reserve, and uh, Labrador uh, Reserve, Nature Reserve. Any city in, in urbanised settings, the reason why it's called urbanised is because you want people to live there, you want to stay there, right? So which means that there will be this constant thing that we have to actually balance, and that is development, because we want jobs, we want places to stay, we need transport. So we need to constantly balance in an urban setting uh, the needs of people. But at the same time, it is so important that we actually keep uh, natural ecosystems and biodiversity because they provide very important uh, ecosystem services. Bukit Timah Reserve is a lowland littoral cup uh, forest and um, it has been there since the midst of time and we have a very good forest there, very large stature. Uh, about 40% of our native fauna and flora are found in Bukit Timah nature itself. That's about 163 hectares. Uh, the wetland reserve, uh, the main attraction of the park is the uh, migratory uh, shorebirds that come by and uh, all the way from as far as Russia, from Siberia, down south as they make their annual migratory route stopping by Singapore, further down south, all the way to Australia and New Zealand. So this is the time of the year from September during the migratory season to March where uh, it turns into a wildlife haven for migratory birds, Yeah, where lots of bird watchers come by. But at the same time, when we conserve the, uh, this wetland reserve, there is also the uh, mangroves. ဒီကြီးရဝန်ဆောင်မှုတော်ဝါကြီးကခီးသွားလုပ်ငန်းနေတယ်အဲဟူတဖိဟိုစတင်ပြီးတော့ဖြစ်ဖြစ်ထွန
and the Forest Department of the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environmental Conservation. Monrec in Myanmar. Now, um, as we will implement this in Myanmar and in, in Lao PDR, together with government, together with uh, expert organizations and other implementing organizations, we're really hoping to see some interesting results and to fill a gap that's currently there in countries and in the regional level uh, as a whole on how to mainstream and how to plan uh, on biodiversity conservation with a gender perspective. We also hope that by working closely with GIZ and ASEAN Center for Biodiversity, um, we will be able to share the experiences and lessons learned from Lao PDR and Myanmar through the project to be widely shared with other ASEAN member states through various um, ASEAN platforms and mechanisms. And at the same time, by working closely with the secretariats of different biodiversity-related conventions, such as the Convention on Biological Diversity. We will also be able to share the experiences from ASEAN member states with other countries in other regions, so that these countries could also be inspired from ASEAN experiences. Two pilot projects are also jointly implemented by the Biodiversity Conservation Agency BCA, of the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, or MONRE, in Vietnam on the strengthening of the effectiveness of management and biodiversity conservation for AHPs and the economic valuation of wetland ecosystems in selected AHPs. Ừ, như như tỉ thị phòng anh cương đã trình bày tức là chúng tôi rất đánh giá cao vai trò của GIZ đơn vị hỗ trợ tài chính hai vai trò của ACB đơn vị là điều phối tổ chức thực hiện To promote innovative approaches for the effective management of AHPs a collaboration between Nature and Wildlife Conservation Division of the Monrec in Myanmar together with the Instituto Oikos Onlus a non-profit organization jointly implement a pilot project to strengthen the conservation and participatory management of Lampi Marine National Park in Myanmar GIZ and uh, ACB uh, joint implementation of the ISB project uh, provides us uh, important resources and technical support for the implementation of our conservation efforts. Uh, the ISB pilot project is for us an opportunity to test innovative approaches for the management of this ASEAN Heritage Park and uh, we see LAMPI as a, a model that can be replicated in other um, national parks in Myanmar as well as in other uh, ASEAN Heritage Park in the region. The success of the ISB project would not have been possible without the cooperation and support of the AHP park managers, the communities and other stakeholders, and the ASEAN member states. The main goal of the project is not just to bring ACB into greater heights, but for it to become a more effective agent of sustainable development and biodiversity conservation in the ASEAN region.